for this reading log assignment on chapter 8 on poetry, I chose, it's rather a large book, I'm sorry, The Dark Emperor and Other Poems of the Night. This book is by Joyce Simon, illustrations by Rick Allen, and it has won several awards, including the 2013 Award book for poetry and the 2011 Newbury Award. There are actually 12 poems in total in this book, um, all to do with animals or other topics that live at night. So it's it's about nocturnal animals. Um, the three that aren't animals are there is a poem about the moon. There are a poem about trees, where I learn actually trees do a lot of stuff at night. Uh, for example, they replenish their water supply and they actually rest, <laughs> much, like, much like we do and we sleep at night. And they're mushrooms. Um, animals are included, the spiders, um, raccoons. And then the dark emperor is actually a, as you can tell by the front cover, an owl which I would imagine most young children associate with night, the night owl, and such like. Each poem, and I'll give you an example here, is split into, I'm sorry, not each poem, each section is split into three. And I'll use the owl as an example. There is the poem itself. So you can see the Dark Emperor right here. Then there is an illustration which reflects what is talked about in the poem. So you can see the owl there looking over its prey. And then I thought the really neat part was there is some factual information on each section. So really this is a scientific informational book, which as I stated earlier, I'm not a big poetry fan, but I really enjoyed this book because I read it about informational purposes. Um, then if you go back and read the poem, so I went back and read them again, you can see it describes... Um, what happens factually, but it's described in the poems. So I'm going to use the spiders as an example. So again, I've learned a lot about spiders with our other assignment, which was about spiders. So this poem says, and I'm going to read it out here, so excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera. Do your work, then sit back and what, see what falls in your lap. Eat your triumphs, eat your mistakes. That way your belly will always be full. So you can see the picture of the spider in the web. And remember from our other assignment where spiders use the silk webs to catch their prey. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. The illustrations are large, bold, um, perfect um, activity maybe for kids would be to create their own chapter. Stars would be something um, fairly easy to write a poem about stars or another animal not discussed in this book that lives at night. Thank you.